Star Man. Alright, here we go. get the wide open throttle dialed in because it's been a little bit lean and uh we're gonna go check out this tune see what it does i added a little bit more fuel to it hopefully she does good get my son to open the hood on it this is pretty much the finished product. That's what our intercooler looks like. tuners logging um, everything from like idle cruising driving all that stuff's pretty much dialed in FRP has it dialed in pretty good uh, we're just working on the wide open throttle tuning um, right now we're on this this car like I've said we're on pump 93 fuel uh, we do not have meth injection installed on this car yet so you know this is not a crazy tune um, Again, it's for pump 93 and we have the 3.5 pulley on the supercharger right now we're trying to keep the boost you know at or under the eight pound mark uh, for the 93 octane at least especially without meth injection um, so we're gonna go out and see what we got it's a little bit cool out here today so we might make a little more boost than anticipated we'll see um, I know last time we took it out AFRs seem to climb up on you know right towards the peak of the shifts around the 12 12.2 afr which is you know you're starting to get a little scary there um so i added just a little bit more fuel up around that range to see hopefully the car has enough fuel to compensate for it if not we might end up having to upgrade fuel pumps but i we should be good so we threw some more in there we're gonna see if it responds and maybe gets us closer to 12.0 or under the 12.0 or back into the 11s uh, if it does, we'll throw some more in it until we get down to, you know, that 11.5 range, 11.6, somewhere right in there. So, I'm going to hand you over to Laptop Holding Man. So, now he's going to be Recording Guy and Laptop Control Guy. So, we can uh, hear the car. 
for a little drive.
splash of fuel and we might just we might be out of fuel pump honestly which is kind of shocking because supposedly the cars do better with fuel management on the stock pump than the rams do and the rams usually can do eight nine pounds of boost pretty easily on the stock pump so i don't know but this car does have 135,000 miles on it on a stock fuel pump i'm sure so i mean it could be stock fuel pump might be wearing out might be a little on the weak side That's definitely a possibility too. So she made it through uh, some wide open throttle rips. That tomahawk cam is hitting a lick, boy. Heck yeah, guys. There you go. There's a little update with Zorro. Um, we're going to go back in here to the desk. Write another tune. I might throw a little bit more fuel in it um, up top. And hopefully it'll respond. Uh, if it don't, then we're probably going to need a boosted pump or upgrade the fuel pump or put meth injection on it. If it had meth injection on it, definitely hands down it would be fine, uh, 100%. So we kind of had plans on doing meth injection. So I don't know. We're going to make our minds up, but we're going to keep throwing some fuel at it, see if we can get it to, um, you know, get that little blip of lean spot out of it up top because everything else seems to be perfect like it's, it's dead on ready to rock uh just has that little bitty lean spot so stay tuned hope you guys enjoyed the little video and the rips with zorro and uh hopefully guys we can get to the racetrack and race frostbite race zorro <laughs> race storm since we've been doing all these uh upgrades lately so stay tuned see you guys on the next one